Hello everyone, my name is Okwandi and I'm the Solutions Engineer at Election Inc. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a process with me into building a robotic process that's going to contain comparing information from different PDFs. So let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I want to go ahead and jump into my document processing and get into some of my PDF activities. I'm going to go ahead and start by reading the text layer of that PDF. Once you choose this activity, you'll be met with the parameters. The parameters will allow you to go in and pick the path to the actual file. So for the information that's in these PDFs, I have it in a folder of where I have random documentations. So what I'm going to do is go into these elements here and choose a PDF file. Now for the PDF file I'm going to choose, I'm going to go ahead and open up that one right there. And I'm going to rename this value to the actual PDF in which I'm using, just so I know. So I'm going to put Sam underscore Barker underscore Bill. So that would be my first value to variable. And then I want to go in and read a, another PDF. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did on the first one. I'm picking the path to my file. I'm going to go ahead and select the PDF. I'm going to go ahead and change the name here. And this one's going to be Macy underscore green underscore bill. Now that we have our two objectives that need to be read, we can go ahead and read those contents. I'm going to go ahead and use the auto layout just to kind of organize this here. All right, now let's go ahead and run this now. Awesome, now that I have read those contents, you would see here where the bot started and finished successfully. So I am gonna go ahead and go to those variables. And as you can see, it shows the information that was within that patient documentation. Having the one here being for Macy Green, and then the other one here we have for Sam Barker. So let's go ahead and pull some of this contents of the information. So since this contains different information regarding the policy balance and balance dues and all different types of co-balances and payments that may be there, we can go ahead and pull some of this information. So I want to say for the Samuel Barker, we just want to go in and pull the remaining balance due from this specific context. So what we can go in and pull now is the total due. And that will be over here to the end as total due. So what I wanna do is take this content I have and I want to copy it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another variable. So I'm gonna go to general and in my logic, I'll have the ability to assign a value to variable. So what I want to do is make a name. And this will be Sam Barker Total Two. That'll be the variable name. And we're going to go ahead and paste what the total due is there. And now I'm gonna go into where Macy Green's information is kept within the variables. And I'm gonna go into view, and I'm gonna go all the way to the end of where that total due would be present. So then I'm gonna go in and copy that. And again, I wanna assign a value to variable. This is going to be Macy Green Total Due. And for the value, we're going to paste that number there. 
So now that we have the context extracted, we can go in and plug this information into other areas. So now that I have my total due, I want to go in and do some more information with that. So let's do some calculations. I can go in to specify what I would like done with these variables. So for example, if I wanted to go in and have this information sent via email, I can go to send an email. And in this email, I can specify what I would like. So as my mail to, I'm gonna choose a mail to address. I'm going to set my host and login, so where the actual email is coming from. I'm going to select my server, which would be Google, because I'm using Gmail. I'm going to select my subject. So for my subjects, I'm going to say here are the balances due. And in my mail body, I now want to go in and calculate a value. And why I want to calculate a value is because I already have my variables. So the first thing that I want to do, I'm gonna put in quotations because this is going to be a wording. Here is the balance for Macy Green. And then I want to put a add because I'm going to be adding something else. And what I'm going to put here is a space quotation because I don't want it to be here is the balance or Macy Green and then immediately after that be the number. So I want to have a space there. And then I'm going to add because I'm adding another piece of information. And then I'm doing Macy Green total due. And again, I wanted to do another add. And here I need quotations. Here is the total due balance for Sam Barker. Again, I want to add my add button. Go in and use my quotations and space in between my quotations. And then I want to go in and add Sam Barker's total due. So now that I have that email specification set up, let's go ahead and run this workflow now. Alrighty, we can see that that ran successfully. Now let's go check that email. And as you can see in that email, we have our wording. Here is the balance for Macy Green, total due, as well as here is the total due balance for Sam Barker, total due. I thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Please let us know any automation ideas that you get. And remember, happy automation with Electronique. Thank you.